Hi, this is Sean. And this is Mike. And this is Nerd Sense. Hey, and we're back. We are really back. Yeah, we have... Um, we're back with big swinging dicks. I'm hearing myself in my ears, and it's... I guess it's a good thing. Maybe, I think. It might be better that we never knew how we sounded. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, we're looking at each, like a $100 mic we're staring at each with some pop filters and stands and fancy mixing boards that we know nothing. I repeat, nothing about. Oh, we are fucked. <laughs> It's like we just went. Let's let, let's throw money at a problem that we don't understand, <laughs> and let expensive products do things for us. Yeah, I, I'm sure we're not getting our money's worth out of this. No, probably not. So basically, we actually also just ran to Radio Shack and bought a twenty-one dollar XLR cable because we didn't have one. We didn't have an we didn't have an extra one, and the other ones were causing us issues. And instead of trying to figure out what the problem was, we just again threw twenty five threw money <laughs> threw twenty five dollars at it when you could easily get it on Amazon for. Seven bucks? Yeah, seven bucks. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll sort that's about it. Unless you want anything else you need to add about our... No, we're way setup. behind, buddy. Yeah, we're, we're like three weeks out of so much nerd news right now that it's, it's just ridiculous. And we're actually pulling up the uh, conversations that me, Josh, Jason, and Mike have been having over the last couple weeks that we missed. Today was actually a good day, so hopefully we're, we're, we're going to get the jump on today's news. Um, I'm just pulling that up now. And actually, while we're doing that... Dude, I'm fucking giddy. I like that we're we're vaguely professional. This is pretty professional. I don't know how long I can do this, though. It's weird. I, I don't mind the, the monitor headphones. Maybe that's why. I need to get a pair of those or get those to work. Dude, these are like 20 bucks. Yeah, I'll buy a pair of those. They're really cool. Yeah, I'll definitely buy a pair of those. Um, so actually, before we start, we should probably open the beer that we're going to have. Yep. We'd... Um, actually, here you go. <laughs> the problem with these mics is you're going to hear everything. Oh, yeah. Actually, it actually would have been good for the intro. Maybe I'll pull that if it's better. Um, I think so... there's too much talking around it. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. So we're pulling um, our Hop and Wheat Centennial dry hopped. Uh, Mike and I both tried the Citra. Citra. It was better than it should have been. Yeah, it was pretty good. I feel like I liked it. It wasn't the most balanced of beers. No. Like, we definitely, we like hops to the point where they're not like, wow, this looks better. It's a prettier beer. Yeah, it is. The other one was a little browner and cloudier. Ooh, it's got a, oof. It smells, it smells better too. So this is actually from the gallon batch we did. So this is only, there's only, this is, after this, there's only three bottles left. We had a, I had a problem with um, the hops in the, uh, oh, did you? getting it out and, Okay. So we only have three more of these, so watch us the best one. Oh, this smells the best. If it is the best Dude. one, then we just use Centennial only. And look how look how pretty it is. Yeah, it is. All right, right? let's take a sip. Yeah. I wonder if we should do more hops next time. I feel like um I feel like there's some parts about the other one I like better. This one is a little more balanced though. Like yeah. where it's but I think I like the malt kind of character the other one yeah but this is yeah this is still pretty damn good yeah, i'm excited yeah. wow yeah wow um so we are way behind uh we, yeah. we didn't we didn't talk about anything that came out at comic-con oh we haven't talked about but yeah we knew we have new batman superman trailer which was like the biggest piece of news with suicide, suicide squad trailer too there's we, where, do, where do we, we start well, well let's start with what we What's nearest and dearest to our heart? Let's do it with the, uh, Batman, Batman v Superman. Superman. Yes. I think that makes a lot of sense. So the trailer came out. It was like a – someone said it. Someone put it in a good way. They were like – it was like a short film. It was like it was like a long trailer. It was almost three minutes long. It was like those um those fan-made – Yeah. You know, those yeah. four-minute fan films. Yeah. It was it, – it, it lived up to the hype. I was like – they showed everything I wanted to see. There was – the homage to The Dark Knight Returns. Come on. That was – I didn't even notice it until you sent me that picture. Isn't that awesome? Like, and I was like, holy shit. I, I saw it by accident. I was like, wait a minute. I, and I, I went and found frame by frame. I was like, I know that picture. I was actually surprised when I went back and found it that it wasn't closer to it. Like, it, it's pretty close. Yeah. But I, I thought it was exact. And I was like, eh, well, close enough. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Good enough for me. But it it was clear that, that, that there was no reason for Ben to reach his arm that way. 
No. This is deliberately. Of course, yeah, of course, it was completely staged and everything, and it was it was perfect. You know, I, I'm I'm excited, dude. I um, I it's we've oft talked about it, but a lot of people had a lot of problems with, with Affleck, and I was the one like, "Fuck no, he's gonna and kill he looks it." Great. He looks yeah, great. It looks he great. It looks great. You know, and and nobody involved in our podcast was like, "No, fuck Ben." Some people a little more no. hesitant than yeah, me, yeah, yeah. but I was like. Yeah, yeah, Ben, he's my man. Yeah. So, um, and 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 I know that deep down he's a nerd, so it makes sense. Oh, and, and, and honestly, what I had to go on was this guy loves Batman so much. There's no way he would deliberately fuck it up. Exactly. And that's what I had to go on. That's it. But also, like, um, you know, he, he's he's a well preserved dude. Like, he he can easily pass for thirty. Or or forty five. I actually like, just watched Gone Girl the other night. What, what do you think? It was good. Did you watch it? I saw it in the theater. It was not what I was expecting for some reason. I saw it in the theater, dude. It I, was weird. I thought it was going to be a completely different movie than. What did you think it was going to be? I don't know, to be honest. I thought it was going to be more like Gone Baby Gone. For some reason, I don't know if I was just maybe it was just the mental thing of the titles in my head. And well, he, well, he didn't make Gone Girl. He just acted in it. I didn't know that either. I thought he directed it. No. His, the last time he did was Argo. Yeah. I knew that, but so, I thought he did that too. But no, I, I liked it. It was it was fucked up. Yeah. Um, really fucked up. I was surprised how fucked up the blonde bitch was. Holy and shit. Like, at first I was like, oh, maybe he is crazy. Maybe he is like an asshole oh. and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden... It comes, like, comes out that it's all her. She's just, well, he's a dick too, but, yeah. but a different kind. Yeah. She's just insane. Dude, that part at the end, like, you know, I'm a cunt and da da da. I was like, oh. Shit. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Like when she pulled the pregnancy card, I was like, no way. I just, yeah. how, how do you do that? Or when she murdered Neil Patrick Harris. That was, that was badass. I was like, Jesus. Like, and how did no one think, like, it's just, no one thought that was like. Well, the cops happening. knew. The cop knew, but yeah. the other cops were just, they, the, the yeah. FBI were like, yeah, whatever, case, case closed, I can go home now. Well, we know that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And we're privy to stuff that maybe they don't have the evidence for. I mean, mm-hmm. we, we're watching what happened. Like, in theory, I'm saying, like, cops only see the mess. They don't right. see how the mess was made. They right. have to, there's like conjecture, and and uh, she was pretty fucking thorough. Yeah, she was. Anyway, so overall, uh, say one to ten. Uh, Let's give it an eight and a half. Yeah, I, I think I gave it about an eight. I think some of the movie really dragged. The movie could have dealt yeah. with some editing, but maybe it wouldn't have had the ambiance or... The one thing that didn't make sense was she kept saying, go back and look at the tapes, the videotapes in Neil Patrick Harris's yep. lake house. Did she have access to those? You know, to delete the stuff where it showed her, like, being willing? Right? You know what I mean? I'm not sure, man. It, it, this, they never it, mentioned that. That's like a. I think that was a. That's like a giant hole that was someone forgot about. Or, well, uh, not to mention other plot holes. We just. Um, wait, you haven't seen Ant Man yet, have you? No. Shit, we got to go this week sometime. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Never mind. I was gonna mention something on Ant Man. I forgot that you haven't seen it. My bad. Fair enough. Right, yeah, this is something we got to talk about too. Like, I know, but I can, we can't talk about Ant Man today. I know. Maybe this sometime later this week. Maybe I can talk about it. Just block your ears. <laughs> I'm like, wait, if I take these headphones out, I can't hear you, right? That's, that's how it works. <laughs> um, so, Batman v. Superman. Batman v. Superman, before we got off topic. Um, <laughs> In an hour when we finally get back yeah. to it. But um, no, I, I, I thought the trailer was fantastic. For, I'm just so, And everything that they released in lately, like, the, was it two days two days ago they released three pictures? Yeah. And, which, which were okay. They, it showed yeah, Batman again, the suit, Superman, and then it showed Lex Luthor in some, like, 80s-style logo behind him, but... I think it's funny that they were, the pictures were released and people are like, wow, these are great. I thought the cover was even better. Yeah, the cover was. Like they, 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 people were complaining about the cover, though. Why? They're like, where's Ben Affleck's neck? Who cares? But let's see how it looks. Although, one picture I, I saw from the, the bigger gallery, uh, Ben looked vaguely like Ben Affleck. No, no, no sorry. Uh, Adam West. I was going to say. Ben. ben looked vaguely like Adam West. Really? I thought, yeah, like... Uh, See if I can find that for you real quick. I mean, I know that we're off topic because that's fine. Um, but I, I was looking at it now. I, I want to make the comment, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be the only one to say it. So I was like, eh. <laughs> seems weird that I would be the one to make the comment. Uh, 
is the picture? This one, this reminds me of Adam West for whatever reason. Um, I can see it. You know, now it, that you say it, I it can it's see not. It. It's not Adam but West. I'm gonna say that's actually my favorite picture of him so far that they released. Because that gives you like the real view of the suit and like everything like that, not like just like the little. I guess the behind the scenes shots, like the the on the statues at Comic Con. Yeah. But this gives you like I don't know the way the way it's lit and stuff like that. It's lit not professionally. It's just a picture. Yep. Uh, candid. Yeah. So, um, the trailer sh- the trailer shows uh, our fir- first like moving footage of Wonder Woman, who is looks freaking ridiculously badass. Like, so it's pretty good. She basically sonic boomed or whatever, or giant blast of power from. Yeah. <laughs> so she looks good. Um, she's five foot ten though. I wonder if they're gonna shoot her differently to make her taller. Is that tall for broad? And she, if, she, if she's wearing heels and stuff. This would be even taller. Yeah. Now, Chris Pine is six foot. With flats, she's as tall as he is almost. Good point. Uh, sorry, Chris up. Pine yeah. was cast as Steve Trevor. So I'm wondering how that's going to work out. Interesting. You know, like, how much bigger than Steve Trevor is she supposed to be? In the comics, she doesn't. I don't think she's as tall as Steve Trevor. Not the comics, sorry, the, the TV show. Was she taller than him in, in the, the Wonder Woman movie? No, oh, I don't know. I don't think Steve Trevor was in that. I mean, the, what, the, the movie as in... The animated movie. Oh. He was definitely in that. Oh, oh, I thought for some reason I thought you were talking about the uh, unreleased pilot. <laughs> no. Um, you know um, you know the animated yeah, movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, by the, by the way, was, if, they want, if they want to make an awesome Wonder Woman movie, just take that script and uh-huh. redo it. I, you... Gave me a copy of that movie a long time ago. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'll get to it whenever. Yeah. And when I finally watched it, I was like, what the fuck? That, that was one of the best DC animated movies. It's really good. Like, it, it, it's outstanding. It's better than you remember. Even watch it again. I need it's, to watch it again. I've only seen it once and it was a while ago. Like a long time ago. I remember, I remember being genuinely shocked. I was like, wow, I'm having a really fucking good time. I don't like Wonder Woman a whole lot. Nathan Fillion was Steve Trevor, right? He was. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm just, I'm just saying he's not like he's working on movies. I like him better than Chris Pine. I would rather have him be a Green Lantern. Uh, Give me my Hal Jordan. Yeah, I, I don't have an issue either way. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, um, other than that, I mean, like... Robin. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Showed the Robin suit not in, like, defaced by the Joker. So I think we're definitely going to see some Death in the Family adaptation in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Um, the rumor is apparently it's Dick Grayson, but I really hope it's not. There's another rumor I heard about um, Dick Grayson being involved in um, Suicide Squad. Really? I heard um, who's uh, Clint Eastwood's kid? He's in Scott Eastwood or some shit. Yeah. He's in Suicide Squad, and no one knows his role. And one of the rumors is he may be an undercover Dick Grayson. Interesting. Because I, I, I did you read that article I sent you today though regarding everything? Yeah, uh, about Suicide Squad. Actually, how Batman caught literally every single one of them and put them all away. Yeah, and it, his scene is a flashback. Yeah, in particular. Yeah. So he's not involved in the main plot. It's going to show him cap- capturing Harley, and who knows? Maybe they'll show him capturing everyone. But that would be that's yeah, a little time. much, little much. Yeah. Um, and I guess the other rumor is the Joker's on a cameo in Batman v Superman. I heard the flashback of Robin is supposed to take place in Batman v Superman. Oh, is that how it's supposed to work out? That's what I read, but who okay. knows? Like, yeah. It would make more sense, probably, uh, yeah. to involve his psyche. Because what does it matter in Suicide Squad if he's not a main character? Yeah, exactly. You know? uh, there's plenty of other shit for Joker to be doing, you know? Um, you know, I guess we can, we can discuss them both together, but the Suicide Squad... Uh, that was... I don't even know if that's a trailer. That's like a teaser. I know it's an extended teaser. Yeah. But like that's like everything was taken from like two or three scenes. Yeah, because they weren't supposed to release that to the public. No. Nope. They were just like, oh, fine, I got leaked. Here you go. Fuck it. Yeah. Which every studio should do. Yeah. I want I want fucking Deadpool. The dead, did you actually watch it? Yeah. It, it, that was I, – I don't want to say it was better than those two trailers. Because it, it, it wasn't better. It was funner. Suicide Squad was kind of fun. It was dark and fucked up, but it was yeah. pretty fun. I mean – and Will Smith actually looks like he's embracing the role and not just trying to be... Yeah. 
Uh, I, did, I did read that like people were like, oh, it's just Will Smith. You said we're going to save the world yeah. again. Yeah, it's fucking Will Smith being Will Smith. I'm like, I don't know. Like, in, like oh, I was a little on the nose that he said, oh, we're a suicide squad and whatever. But fuck, man. I don't know. I Like, I get nitpicky about other shit. That doesn't bother me. I get nitpicky about other things. Maybe it's just, like, I think... Those things are so trivial. I'm like, it's yeah. Like, what, are you, what are you fucking looking at? I'm like, who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. And they and like they got Killer Croc looking good. I I thought that would be a hard thing to get right. And we'll see. It looks normal. We'll like, see. Not normal, but you know what I mean. Like he doesn't look out of place, really. Yeah, I, I'm I'm leery on how they're going to use him. Mm-hmm. You know, and like uh, I like some other interpretations of him where he's like just like a huge black guy. Yeah. And I think that might have been a little more. Easy to digest, especially considering that actor that they chose is a pretty intimidating black guy. That's a good point, too. You know? But, I mean, all we got is a little clip. I don't have an issue with it. We'll see. Excuse me. We'll see how it works out. Yeah. Um, Harley. (laughs) Looks great. She looks perfect. Yeah, she looks great. Um, I like that the little... I've heard of her voice, that it's not that Bruce Tim voice. Yeah, I know. I don't want That wouldn't have... I don't think that would have crossed over very well in... Dude, even, like, on Birds of Prey, like, oh, Mr. J. <laughs> like, the whole time she talked normal, but yeah. in that weird scene at the, the last episode, yeah. I'm like, oh, that doesn't work in real life. Like, I don't mind her having a little bit of New York in her voice. That's fine. Yeah. But that that Harley voice is not no, adaptable. Not. And all people are like, you know, she doesn't have the Harley voice. And they did it in Arrow, too. Yeah, she... Yeah. But that that won't work in real life. It just won't. It, yeah. it it'll come off too sticky and yeah. Um. Um. But it works completely fine for animation. Oh hell yeah! You know, like like e- even Hamill. Hamill would not make a good Joker in real life. That voice wouldn't work on a real person. No. It, it's good for cartoons. Cartoons are, are big and the, I know the Joker's big and like bombastic yeah. and stuff. But it just wouldn't work. It, it just I, maybe someone can prove me wrong. But that 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 transatlantic accent that yeah, he has. Yeah, for them to do that, they'd have to actually like dub him over someone over an actual actor because he would not be able to play a physical. <laughs> Troy Baker could. Yeah, actually, he could. He actually looks the part too. He yeah, could. Troy Baker would physically resemble a good Joker, and he can do the Hamill voice spot on. That would be badass. I, I wonder how he can do the Ham. But the problem is, how can he do the Hamill voice? He'd probably have to learn how to do it better. I'd like this on screen, like because he's so used to just doing it behind a booth. Like probably doesn't his man, maybe yeah. like his him, him acting in like one sense and like trying to do the voice at the same time would probably screw up his. Yeah, but Hamill too. Yeah, you know it's not that's on Hamill's voice. Yeah, like <laughs> no, I know that. You know, so um, maybe some UCLA sorry some UCLA students can convince him to do some fucking small time film. Yeah, you know, five yeah, minute badass. You know, I'm just saying. Putting that out there. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd pay for it even if it was yeah. only a little fan film. Troy Baker's voice, though, is like, it's scary how close he is. Yeah. It's, I, it's scary. I'm still, it's still not 100%. No one's 100% officially said that the Hamill thing. did Arkham Knight. I think he did. It's on IMDb, but no one has said that he did it. I think he did it. I think it would be a bigger deal that if Troy Baker did do it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it would be yeah. discussed. Yeah. You know? But I mean, either way, I don't. It doesn't matter. The performance is great, and and the fact that everyone's like, "Who was it? Who was yeah, it?" Yeah, th- that tells you something right there. Yeah, uh, has Hamill talked about Troy Baker at all? I feel like that might be stepping on someone's feet, mm. but like at the same time, it, it's it's scary so. how close. You know, like how how close his voice is. He's really good. When I heard the footage from Comic Con like last year or the I year before, my pants. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yep. Because he, he did, he did some speech. I think maybe the Heath Ledger speech. He did the Killing Joke speech. No, oh, he did. Is that, is that, no, Hamlin did that one. I thought. I think they both did it. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> they both okay. done it. But it was fucking good. Yep. And God, there's so much to talk about. I, I wanted to go talk about Killing Joke now. <laughs> now we're like talking about seven thousand things. All right, I have an well, idea. Let's talk about Killing Joke real quick. Then we'll come back to um, to Suicide Squad. This I, this way we're, we're linear. So yeah, for anyone that hasn't heard yet, um, we're getting Killing Joke. Finally. Finally. And Mark Hamill has said he is doing it. Um, he said he was going to retirement for it. I, I've i heard that he already recorded his stuff. That's what I read too, which is interesting. So we'll see. Who knows? I mean, this is... Did they say the, Kevin Corner is Batman? No. Huh. Not yet. It's got to be. I think uh, for... 
the iconic Joker Batman story. You're gonna need the iconic Joker Batman. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm okay with him not doing it, but I don't want the Batman nope. from. Nope. 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 Even though I think he does a good job, I want this to be separate from that, though. Yeah. You know, I don't think they'll put that in the same universe. No, I know, but I feel like if it, you use his voice, it it'll yeah. feel the same to me. Yeah, agreed. Now, do you think they're going to use the art almost as if it's from The Killing Joke? I was thinking that. I was actually just going to ask you that. I don't know what style they would do. I hope they don't. I would, would if I was going to pick a style, the real, real nerd in me and nostalgia in me is wants to say do it in the old Bruce Tim style. Oh, I don't think so. But if no. I had to pick a style from another type of movie, I would probably go with... Um, under the Red Hood style. Yeah, but I don't want the, the Joker to look like that. What do you want to look like? I think... Um, I, I can't... I guess I can't place a spot. I, I know I don't want him to look like um, he does in the comic. In, the, in that uh, issue of the comic. I feel like his face is really long. Um... I guess I can't place... Yeah, his face is really long, and I, I agree. You know, like, I mean, if they, if they keep it, the, the features a little little less extreme, I'd be okay with it. The the, fe- the features are yeah. extreme in that. I mean, if they have him look like a, a cleaner, less gross sort of version of the Arkham Knight Joker, I'm okay with that kind of style. Hmm. You know, like where his face is a little more reasonable shaped. Yep. I, I don't need him to have the, the Glasgow smile that he has sort no. of in that. But... Just kind of like that bone structure kind of look. That'd be cool. Yeah. You know, and he, he looks suitably deranged, you know. Yeah, I'd be but, in for that. I'd be in for that. I wouldn't even mind. Yeah, that, I don't think they're ever going to do the another Arkham Knight video franchise. Thank God. That was not that good. Which one? The Salt and Arkham? Yeah. I, I heard it was pretty good. Yeah, it was okay. I didn't. It was a Suicide Squad movie than anything. Yeah, but I don't care what... Yeah. I, I mean, I, but I haven't seen it either, but yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um... No, how close do you think they're gonna to stick to the script? Oh, they have to. They have to do it all. If they can't release it as a PG film, PG thirteen. All the ones would be PG thirteen. <sighs> can't do it as PG thirteen. Give us an unrated one then. Give us PG thirteen for the normal kids, and give yeah. us give us ones an unrated one. I'm cool with that. Even if it's like an online order only, so kids oh, yeah. can't accidentally get it. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> I'd be all in for that. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Um, yeah. it. Like the Return of the Joker, the unrated version is like so much better. Oh yeah, for sure. It's re- remarkably different. Like I, just the little things. Yeah, like change the tone so much. Oh yeah, like he actually kills. Like, I think I I accidentally downloaded a copy of it. I do own it, but I downloaded a copy because I couldn't find it. Yeah, that was the original copy, and I'm watching. I'm going, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, yeah. I forgot how like childish it was. Like. He, yeah, I, I only saw Joel was showing me the differences because I think he he had bought the first one by accident mm-hmm. first, whatever, and uh, so I made sure when I bought it, I think I ordered it on Amazon. I made sure I got the unrated. Yeah, you know. Um, I'm hoping they stay pretty close. I want all the carnage. I want all the insinuations. I want it to be fucked. I want. Yeah. I'm curious how they're gonna do the ending. Yeah, I'm curious how they're going to, if they're going to still, yeah. Do you think they're really going to do what well, you said you want, all like the insinuations and stuff? Yeah, well, I I think that the ending, you can interpret any way you like. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm kind of into Morrison's version. What's, wait, Morrison's version? Well, of the events, the way he describes it. What do you mean? Maybe I'm forgetting something. He, he says Batman kills the Joker at the end. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I read that. Oh, was that on Batman on Batman? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I forget that. Yeah, he he says that Batman kills the Joker at the end. And if you read it, you can see it. Yeah. But I can see how you wouldn't. Right. So. Yeah. I really hope they just go balls, though, because they did pretty good with, with, with the Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> yeah, they did. They, they could have easily cheaped out and went with the one part and just condensed it into one film. I'm I'm so glad they didn't. But they knew how much the source material meant to everybody. They made it two parts. They yeah. pretty much. Well, the Killing Joke is a ten minute read, though. Like you can. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's short, so, so I'm sure. I'm wondering if they're going to add a little bit of backstory or whatnot to it. But uh, I don't think they'll add anything. They'll probably um, they'll 
probably stretch out a little of the dialogue, you know? Yeah. Like, because they're not going to... I see it being an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, the, the, the regular length. Yeah. <sighs> yes. I think that that's a, I think that's a good length for that, that story. I just, I want it to be, I want the, I want the dirt, I want the grime. Yep. You know? It, it's certainly, um, Dark Knight Returns is very adult, but like you can do that in a PG-13 world. I don't know if you can do this one. I mean, this one that shows him shoot Barbara Gordon. You see her yeah. get shot. They have to show that. Yeah. I mean, I, I want, I want, I want that camera angle on everything. She's paralyzed. They yeah. Have to show it. You should see the once after this, I'll show you the, the scene that they did in the Arkham Knight, like the flashback. It was yeah. pretty epic. Yeah. I, I read about it a few times. <laughs> it's pretty awesome to see. I was like, holy crap, they're doing it. They're doing it. I, I, I read about it, I think, right after the game came out. And I, I didn't text you about it because I didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be mean. <laughs> Sean, guess what? <laughs> I'd kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, let's get back to Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, we, we haven't discussed Jared Leto. Jared Leto, I, so the picture is, we've, well, we've discussed Jared Leto before, yeah. but not in the Suicide Squad trailer. Everyone already heard my distaste with what he looks like, and then everyone's like, oh, maybe it's not going to be, though, just for promo shots and shit. No, apparently not. No, that's him. Uh, it's him. And the voice, I like his voice. And, I, you know, after seeing him in action and stuff, I guess I'm not, I'm not as bothered as I was. I'm really not as bothered as I was. Yeah, um... The little bit we got is like uh, suitably creepy, very um, like powerful. Yep. We I, I got to see more. Yeah, we'll sure. see. Um, apparently, apparently there's some shots I have never gone back to check, like that that you won't notice the first time going through the Suicide Squad trailer, but you can see him walking with the purple suit and everything. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I listened to someone pick. The part that two minute whatever yeah for like an hour and a half discussing every frame <laughs> it was a little bit creepy. was this was this the who, what what podcast was this holy badcast yeah of course yeah I'm not gonna talk about that <laughs> um, but yeah we got a lot from comic that was a big big piece of lifting the veil off what everyone was curious about I think everyone was more, I was. To be honest, I was more curious to see what the Suicide Squad was going to play because they already gave us a decent amount for Batman and Superman. And then to see how it's going to fit and everything. And now after today reading what Zack Snyder was saying about the universe in general and where they have boundaries and they're willing to not like ask the directors to like pull back, but they're willing to extend the boundaries a little bit if they yep. have to. So it's like, it sounds promising. It sounds like they're going to get better directors than Marvel will. Yeah, they already got David Ayer doing obviously the Suicide Squad. And, and David um, Ayer is better than any director that Marvel's had. Yeah, and the chick that's doing um, Wonder Woman is she did the Hurt Locker? No, she did something big. We got Ben Affleck doing doing Batman. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I, I don't know. Well, they have, um, what's his Joss Whedon was pretty big. Uh eh, not really. No, no. Joss um, Joss is big nerd cred. Who did um, Thor? He was pretty big. Oh, Kenneth Branagh? Kenneth Branagh and Joe Johnson were pretty big directors. Yeah, but like, who, who, who are they going to get? That, that Those are both phase one. I heard Kenneth Branagh has come back for Ragnarok. No way. Yeah. No kidding. That's what I heard, yep. No kidding. Uh, but Branagh is, I mean, he's, he's, what is he famous for? Doing Shakespeare adaptations. He Perfect did, for Thor. Yeah, he did Hamlet and shit like that. He's uh he's also famous for uh for banging out Tim Burton's wife. Oh really? Yeah, he was, he, he was married to Emma Thompson and he cheated on her with fucking what's her face. Oh, okay then, good for him. While he, I think while he was making Hamlet. So, All right. But uh, he did that, and he did um he did uh I think he did the the adaptation of uh Frankenstein with Robert De Niro. I think that was him. Yep. Which also starred Tim Burton's wife. <laughs> yeah. And he did Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Oh, that was a great movie. Oh, no. Collaborations. No. Yeah. It wasn't a great movie. He but, didn't uh, do it. Ah. Uh, wait, I, no. Oh, no. I was thinking of Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise. I haven't that, seen That was okay. That was okay. That was okay. I haven't seen um, 
Jack Ryan, uh, the latest whatever Jack Ryan flick. I haven't either, but I haven't heard anything good about it. Uh, he did. Oh, he acted in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, he played the cowardly teacher or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess yeah, that's good. Well, Zack Snyder. Well, they got bigger movie directors. We'll put it that way. Yeah, for sure. Like they, a lot of the, the Marvel guys are like TV directors and shit. Yeah, but now the Russo. Yeah, they were, but now they're coming up pretty big. <laughs> Absolutely, but. Favreau was big at the time. Yeah, A- fa- L- we, we, okay, everything yeah. you all phase yeah, one, you're right, you're right. all phase one. Um, but now they, the directors want, they want to have control, and Marvel's not giving them any control. And I know you haven't seen Ant Man yet. Ant Man's pretty cool, but Ant Man is super paint by numbers. Mm. It's super paint by numbers. It's it's average, like where you're like, a lot of it is like straight from Iron Man one. Yeah. And stuff like that. You'll see. Origin wise and whatnot. No, it, it, yeah, I just. You'll see. You'll see. It, it, the, it's clear that the, nobody's taking risks. Like, we need to have this joke. We need to have this. We need. It, it, they're all pretty much. Like, especially phase two, we're all pretty much like the same fucking movie, man. Um, they, just, they just didn't. The Phase One movie is a little more interesting. Uh, definitely, Cap Two was an interesting film. Yeah, that was different than most of any. Actually, it's a very different movie altogether. Um, but Phase One had several interesting films. Phase Two had Cap Two and uh, Guardians. Guardians was cool and fun. Guardians wasn't particularly interesting. I thought it was. Uh oh. What? We got off topic again. I just realized. Yeah, we we, we continue to do that. <laughs> we were going back. We were going to be talking about the bat. We were talking about Batman Superman. And then of course we went to Marvel again. Um, yeah. We'll go back to Batman Superman real quick. Um, yeah. So there was an interview interview today where they basically said how they're how they got the universe going and how they're going to make everything kind of work together and they're just letting the directors do their own thing, which they've already established. I, I think he said. Oh, actually, here's the quote. He said. Um, they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to do a old standalone Batman movie due to it coming right out after the Nolan films. And yep. he's like, he said, Snyder said, um, "We we live in a gratitude to those movies. Chris set the tone for the DC universe and separated us from Marvel in a great way. We got the legacy of those movies. It's perfect. Yeah, they, yeah. This is completely separate. Marvel's very, very much sunny and fight battles are always usually out in the sun, <laughs> in the open air. This just seems grittier and." Just dark and uh, it, it's, it's kind of how it, it it it's how it is in the comics too usually right like well I don't think Superman's particularly gritty in the comics no but I meant more Marvel uh, X Men's pretty fucking gritty in the comics yeah that's yeah that's a good point you know um but I mean these films have their have their their place yeah. you know and they're they're meant to be big and you know like lead the weapon you know what I mean they're, they're, they're kind of that kind of movie I yeah, feel like yep. you know they're more for the they're more family oriented yeah kind of thing. I, I think I feel like even though like the um, the Chris Nolan films are like those big blockbusters they're way more psychological they have way more nuance oh yeah for sure you know he wanted more of a anyways with like Dark Knight everyone compared to Heat which was pretty much it was yeah. a cop movie with Batman in it. <laughs> yeah. But it was really good. Yeah. A cop movie with Batman in it. Which is fine, which is, that's what it is supposed to be. It's yeah. living it. He, he works with the GCPD all the time in the comics. Like, that's why even, like, GCPD comic books are actually interesting. Gotham, the TV show, not so much, but. <laughs> you hear Michael Chiklis on that show now? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the show anyway. Yeah, I don't either. Garbage. Yes, it's garbage. Um,. What else came out of Comic Con that's not Batman related? Deadpool. Deadpool was fucking hilarious. Like, granted, the only thing we got to see was a camera phone version of the trailer, but just like the audio was the, the jokes. The and... jokes were it was like it was perfect. Like it was a pitch perfect adaptation of. Well, one thing I was not not I wasn't worried about anything. I wasn't like I couldn't see. Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Now, l- let me ex- explain that situation. 
Um, I liked him as uh, what's what's his name? Deadpool's name. Oh, um, shit. We're bad fans. Um, it was. <sighs> yeah. Mark with the mouth. Yeah. No, he, is, it, is it Slade Wilson? No, Slade, it, that's, 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 dead shot. Dead shot. Uh, dead, dead, death stroke. Death stroke. <laughs> but it's something different, though. It, you know, it's something pretty close. Yeah, it is. It, it's Wade, cool. Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson. Yes. Yeah. The almost exact same wow, fucking name. Wow, they just, they just ran out of ideas. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, Wade Wilson. Even the costume. Yeah, that, I know. That's what I'm getting at. It's, it's virtually the same fucking thing. Um, no. When he played Wade Wilson, not when he played Deadpool, but Wade Wilson in uh, X Men Origins, pretty fucking good. Yeah, no, that character was good. You know, like so, I can see. Okay, I, I get the, the direction, but like, Deadpool is a little fucking zanier than the smart ass yeah. that he played in the film. But I know that he's been a huge fan of that character forever. Oh, hell yeah! And he's, I think, he's been pushing to get a Deadpool movie made since like. Oh, three? He has, yeah. So that's so, probably why he he jumped at the chance to. Well, when they when they were talking about making a new one, I was because I don't even care that he played Deadpool. I'm not the biggest Ryan Reynolds fan. I, I don't have an issue with him, but just like I don't, it wouldn't have bothered me particularly if Hamill didn't get Joker. Yeah. But the fact that both like he, that Hamill was pushing for killing Joke for years. And being a Hamill fan for whatever reason, I was like, I hope he gets it because of that reason. Yeah. Same thing with Deadpool. When they were, when they were talking about like, oh, they finally going to do the the Deadpool movie, I was like, they better get Ryan Reynolds. Not that I, I think someone couldn't do a better job, but who knows? But, yeah. But this guy is. This is what he's, he's wanted to do. Yeah. For like twelve years. What else makes you wonder? Um, like, what was I going to say? How he read the script for Wolverine and was like, oh, okay. I think, I think that was one of those movies that the script wasn't quite done when people signed on. Yeah, he was like, and then he get to the end, he's like, oh, okay. And, <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, well, okay, I'll do it. And then they're like, okay, well, now here's what's going to happen at the end. And he was like, well, I already, oh, oh, I guess my name's on the dotted line. I, I think I read that the ending was, was pretty much uh, super last minute too. Um, it seemed like it was that whole movie seemed like it was a fucking rewrite on set yeah it didn't the movie you know if you watch it from beginning to end it's alright cool well whatever you watch it again you see like none of it works yep pretty much so whatever movie sucked ass and um either way uh the Deadpool trailer I, I wish we could see in HD you said three weeks that was two weeks ago and they keep releasing shot. I guess they're not going to release that specific one, they but he said they're going to have a, a minute, something. Yeah. yeah. Either way, like the because I guess the, all the visual the visual effect shots weren't done and stuff. Well, the visuals weren't that uh, clear, obviously. Yeah. But the jokes were pretty funny, and oh, you, you had to hear his voice that he's going to be using. Spot kinda. on. So I'm pretty interested. Um, I, I'm kind of a like he looks like Deadpool from the video game. I. Well, don't all Deadpool's look? All the Deadpool's look the same. No, because Deadpool sometimes looks like like Spider Man ish, like spindlier. Spindlier? Like 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 thinner and a little more gangly. He doesn't always look ripped. Yes, I agree. And I'm kind of a fan of the skinnier, ganglier version. Like even like the one we had in in, in the uh, that fan film I showed you. That fan film. Yeah, he was very skinny in that because it was just like spandex. Yeah, but it worked very well. That that that. Is one of the best fan films I've seen. That was hilarious. It, it it's seventeen minutes of epicness. Yeah, it, it it's not the, the best fucking thing ever, but it is pretty honest to the character. Like like that's that's no one could look at that film and be like well that's not really that's not really Deadpool. I mean, some people can watch the eighty nine Batman and say it's not really Batman, and you're like oh, you're an idiot. But nobody can watch that Deadpool thing and say that's not Deadpool. It has all of his. Signature type jokes, his love of tacos, his inability to keep his fucking mind straight on anything, be a smart ass the whole time, doesn't die, gets outsmarted by really stupid people. I mean, it's fucking Deadpool. <clears throat> it's, or, 
It worked for me. What is it? February is coming out now? The, the, the actual full movie, though. I think so, yes. Yeah. They should just actually have that guy come in as like an alternate universe thing. as like a joke. Like That'd a throwaway, be funny. A quick throwaway gag. Yeah. How awesome would that be? That'd be funny. Even if Deadpool just walked by and was stealing cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, I know you. You okay. Yeah. Do I know you? Um, so that was interesting. Um, now, what up? Now, speaking of Marvel related properties, when I get to the, the fun stuff. What stuff? The Power Rangers fucking crossover. What does that got to do with Marvel? What am, I afraid? am I missing something here? I have a news. Oh! <laughs> X Men, Age of Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse looks like Ivan Ooze. <laughs> well, it looks let's really retarded. Bury the lead. <laughs> like I don't know if they would just. Yeah, I guess I, I was. I was like completely not even following what you were throwing down there. <laughs> but yeah, I don't understand why they would like. Even the shots don't look that good. Like oh, they, they look. They look not good. They look shitty. Like I know Brian Singer has been very vocal and stuff like that throughout the whole production, like showing like behind the scenes pictures and whatnot. But like when you release official pictures, don't you want it to look somewhat better? They look not good, and I'm I'm one to. Psylocke looks good though. Psylocke looks directly out of the uh, animated TV show. Yeah, and um, I think everyone was always afraid to do like actual comics, like 100. percent Yeah, the, the sun the, looks silly, but she looks fine, and Deadpool looks fine, obviously, and and fucking Batman yeah. looks like Batman finally. Finally, yes. And, and don't get me wrong. I love the way Keaton looked, especially in the first yes. one. And, and I have no issues for practical reasons. I don't have any issues with Bale as Batman. Like, you know, like there's things that could have been better. What the, what the fuck? I mean, there's, there's not much to complain about. But everyone been kind of wanting that 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 Batman with the gray uniform. Yeah. The- yeah. Te- so so I guess technically before before this the most realistic Batman we got in the comics was Adam West. <laughs> That's a safe is that something safe? That's safe to say. You think about it. Yeah. The costume looked the most like the black, the blue and gray or the black and gray. Oh, the color scheme wise, not scheme like the wise. look and the short cowl. <gasps> that's certain version. Modeled Affleck's costume after the Adam West costume. Settled. I think they modeled it on the fact that having the long ears makes it very easy for villains to hold your head. That too, yeah. Good point. <laughs> good point. <laughs> it's a little more practical to have short ears. Yeah. Long ears are make you vulnerable, but so does a cape. So what the fuck do I know? Fair enough. Um... I mean, visual, visually, uh, this is the closest we get to to the comic book Batman. Um, Cavill's pretty fucking close, especially with yeah, he the, looks like Superman. The common, especially the present day Superman without yeah, the, the no without the tidy whities, tidy reds. Tidy reds. <laughs> um, but looks like Brian Singer with the new X Men, like like uh, Storm looks like Storm, with like the the mohawk and stuff like that. It's like that weird version that they had in the eighties, early nineties. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but her her costume looks much more like Storm. Yeah, Jubilee looks like Jubilee. Jubilee. She's yellow and she's wearing yellow raincoats or whatever. That was racist. <laughs> I said a yellow raincoat. She's yellow with a yellow raincoat. <laughs> I meant she was yellow, like her costume was yellow. Yeah, but she is is is, is she Asian? I, I I honestly haven't seen her in the, the pictures yet. Um, Jubilee is supposed to be Asian. Yes. Oh, she is. Yeah. I, whenever I think of Jubilee, I think immediately the the animated series. Yeah, but she's still supposed to be Chinese. Oh, okay. But when she did, when they had that that Mutant X show, she was played by a Caucasian girl. To be fair, do you remember that? Ah, oh, Generation X. Well, yeah, that's what it was. But... Yeah, Gen X. Yeah. Oh, she was in that. I never watched it. I did. So was she the only X Men character in it? I, it was. I think it was only one episode of like a short film, sort of. Oh, really? So it was like yeah. a pilot. There was a couple of people that were supposed to be amalgamations. It was. Yeah. It was bad. It was. I wonder if it was as bad as the Justice League pilot i don't think it was that bad i've never even seen that i saw pictures of it i have oh i've seen pictures and it too. looks the worst yeah i think we should do a commentary on that one day Probably. is it released uh i think i had a copy of it a while ago and it was really bad quality though really bad quality it was probably exactly the way it was filmed <laughs> <laughs> exactly 
Um, so, yeah, back to Apocalypse, like, um, a lot of the characters, it looks like they're doing right by, but not Apocalypse. Apocalypse really, truly looks like Ivan Ooze, and that's bad. Yep. Like, I thought, like, people were saying, though, when they saw him before, like, when they, I guess they showed the previous footage, they said he looks really good. So, I, so maybe he looks better on screen and like with like proper I, lighting and not just like a dude taking a picture of him on a set. I I, I can't believe that because based on the, the the publicity shots they've released, he looks bad. Yeah, just like Apocalypse isn't walking around a street. No, he's in yeah. Egyptian temples. Will be it's just <sighs> ruling and has fucking devil henchmen or whatever the fuck they are called. Yeah, the four horsemen. You know, and at the end of um, at the end of the the last film where they had that shot of uh, apocalypse like putting together the pyramid yeah um i saw that i was like you know i can i can deal with yeah. that i can deal with that as apocalypse um i i can't we haven't seen an emotion yet though <sighs> we'll see I, i'm just not hopeful there's been stuff i'm trying to think there was something recently not recently maybe a couple of years that like i saw the publicity shot and i was like no but then i saw her moving oh but the joker there you go <laughs> Well, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I know, I know. I think it's different altogether. I mean, uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll reserve judgment. I'm just saying that right now things are looking not promising. Yeah, you know. But I, I mean, I, I hope that Brian Singer knows what he's doing. But I, I don't think he does. He came back to the franchise, so yeah. But I don't think he was that great to begin with. I like the first two, and then I, I... Yeah, they're not that great either. Days of Future Past? Yeah, I like the first two. I'll say that. First yeah, time. no, they, they're not bad films. And then he came back like, after Days of Future Past. I mean, after First Class. He realized he made a really stupid fucking decision going to do Superman Returns, but... Which wasn't a very good movie. Because I don't think he's... I think he's... he's it wasn't a bad movie either. No, no, it, it's an underrated movie for yeah. sure. Like, it's just... Like, the movie, sh- the movie should have and could have been better. Like, I'm, I'm sure if he wasn't involved, they probably would have been different well who knows that, yeah we may not have Man of Steel we could have been a franchise yeah. following this <laughs> a better franchise it could have been Bale and Bat- it could have been Bale and Ruth on, on screen yeah if they were because that would have been the they would have had a Superman movie running concurrently with it yeah when did Man of Steel come out 2012 it came out after the other did it come out after Rises before Rises. 2013, maybe. R- Rises came out in 12. So, I mean, I still came out in 2013. Okay. I'm just trying, I was just trying to think if there was ever... I wonder if there was ever any discussion. There was discussion amongst fans. Well, of course. <laughs> like, there's like it would be awesome at the end. Like, Superman flies by and you see Bale looking up at him as Batman. Like, I was like, that would be awesome. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad. That we getting something new. I hope I'm glad. I mean, yeah, I know. I, I just, it definitely does feel like it's way too. It still feels early. I know we're not. I know it's not a standalone Batman film, but it's still like sediment. A lot of sediment. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it with the bottom of your lashes. I was not supposed to drink that. Oh, I know. I saw it come out of the bottle. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I still feel it's a little early for a new Batman. New Batman, but I'm on board for it, right? But it's still a little weird that they, they chose to do it so quickly. Uh, so- kind of like Spider Man. See, I, I'm not that weirded out by it because I mean they do this, they did the standalone films and it was a different Batman every time. Yeah. I mean, in theory, yeah, you know. So it is what it is. I'm I'm okay with it. Um, I know for some people, like they won't be able to disassociate it. I remember someone seriously saying, like, I have no idea why they're putting Joker in this movie, the the Dark Knight. Like they killed the Joker in that last one, that back in 1990 or whatever. I'm like, it's a different Joker. So I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying. I'm slamming my head on the table right now. If anyone can yeah, yeah. hear me, that is the worst. I, that is, you, someone told you that. Yeah. Someone, you had an argument with somebody over there. Yeah, I was just someone who was older, significantly older. Okay. I mean, but, but still, though, it's like Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to explain. This is a different continuity. You know. I don't even know what that word means. Yeah. You know, well, and I was trying to say, it was, it, I was like, it's not like the joke from. It's not like it's the same Joker from the 1960s TV show. Because yeah, that was a TV show. I was like, oh. It was a bad conversation. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. It was like, 
Oh, fuck. It was tough. That's yeah, rough. Yeah. I hated my life for a while having that conversation. That's <laughs> when <laughs> so you just get up and walk away. Tell me yeah. this was Joe. Yeah. No, no, no. It was someone. It was, oh, okay. I'm not okay, gonna... sorry. That's fine. Go ahead. It's good. Uh, yeah. Not Joe. Wow. I don't think I've actually had a real conversation with Joe since, I mean, before. I mean, this is 2008. This movie came out, right? Mm-hmm. So, I haven't had... I mean, I've talked to Joe, but I haven't had a real conversation with him since 05, 06. Yeah. You know? Fair enough. That's ridiculous, though. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. Um, got off track again. As always. It's fine. I mean, like, what else are we yeah. going to talk about with that movie? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else What else, What else? else came out of Comic-Con? Deadpool, all the Batman stuff. Oh, so there's been other stuff. We missed something. We missed something. That's all the big stuff, I think. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, I'm like, I want to talk about the merchandise because I don't care. No. Well, other than how awesome those figures. I those... know oh, that the new Batman shit looks yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Can't afford it though. Too much money. No. Nope. 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 Um. All right. What else have we missed? Was there other trailers for us? Anything else recently? Spectre trailer. I haven't seen it. I only, I only realized it came out because of the Babel, because yeah. of the Babylon. I yeah, was, I I was listening to it, and I'm like, wait a second, what? <laughs> yeah, me too, but I, I didn't get to watch no, it yet. Yeah. Did, did you listen to the whole new Babel? Yes. The newest one? I'm all caught up. Dude. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, the joke with Marco Cor- Corleone called a hit out on cancer. I must have, that must have been during one of the, my zone out moments. Oh, it's really funny. Yeah. They, they were talking about how Kristen Bell had... Called the girl. Oh, I saw. I, I did. I just did see that. So after that, like uh, Ralph Garman. Oh was yeah, saying, I heard it saying about that. And Kevin said what she, he said do it as um, Al well, Pacino, and well, then well, because Garman said if he had like a famous children's yeah. character, he would he would never give it up. He would always be doing crazy shit, which I think we've all said at some point, right? Yeah. And he's like, well, he's doing it as uh, Al Pacino. <laughs> and he's talk- I'm not gonna even do imitate the voice because I can't. But he's saying basically, hey, this is Michael Corleone. What, what's that, Fredo? Oh yeah, we got to put our hit, a hit out on yeah. cancer. It was a really funny joke. It was pretty funny. <laughs> and the Germans, oh my god! I thought the one the week before was better with the um, the, the 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 museum of um, intolerance. Of the museum of <laughs> intolerance. <yeah. laughs> this week's was good too, though. I mean, there was some good stuff, man. But like, I hate that they th- they think that's their weak bit. Because for like the last year, it's my favorite it's the bit. Same, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's my favorite. I wish they would do it when when they recorded it, not live, just to see them. I think that it has to be live because it's completely improv yeah. based on a letter they received or something, you know. Uh, but man, it's it's their strongest bit. I'm sorry. An, I want an animated German short. I, maybe it doesn't work. Yeah. Outside of those minute bits, that's a good point. But I don't care. Those those things make me laugh so hard. I know. I am always on in, on the floor. I tried showing Chan once, and she was like, "Yeah, it's great." It. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I definitely listened to an episode of a uh, of a uh, biggest problem in the, in the universe and with Chan. Yeah, I listened to a carrier who said it's the stupidest show. Yeah, <laughs> stupidest. Chan didn't say ever. anything, but you could tell she was not happy. Well. No, it's not that. It's just, but like, we 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 had driven up to somewhere far. I don't fucking remember. And I had to listen to fucking garbage music the whole way. It's like you know, fuck this. You know, I can play music. Yeah. Or I could play a really obnoxious podcast. male-centered podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. And it was even revenge. I needed to listen to an yeah, episode. Yeah. I wasn't caught up yet. Fuck it. Did, did, did she laugh at all? Snicker? I think she laughed at a couple things. I don't think she understood. Yeah. Uh, some of their jokes take a long time because they're, they're several episodes old. Yeah. You know, like I'm sure there's been a couple times that. Oh, yeah. Where I've just been like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. So, um, but I mean, she didn't like get all pissed off or anything. Yeah. You know? it was, like if I listen to Andrew Dice Clay, she might get pissed off. You know? <laughs> so, um, I was thinking we can talk about the Hulk Hogan thing real quick. Oh, yes. Actually, before we do the Hulk Hogan thing, because I, 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 I have a lead into that because we're talking about what okay. happened. I actually, we actually ended up listening to the Nerdist podcast on the way to the Cape. Okay. And um, Joe Mangello yep. was on it, and I played it because I figured Curry really likes him. I was like, oh, I can get away with a nerdy podcast. And he's actually really – he seems like he's a nerd too. 
Okay. But um, where I'm going with this is he was on Raw. And on Raw? Yeah. Um, to promote th- this was this was an old episode. It wasn't a recent, more recent one. Okay. Yeah. And um, he was on Raw with Arnold because they did that movie Sabotage last year. I heard that was actually not a bad film. It was good. I oh, liked it. Good? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I watched it. It's on Netflix or it should be still. It. Okay. I don't know if they pulled it yet. But yeah. um, he was doing a promotion on Raw for it. Um, and Hogan was going to lead him out. And I guess Hogan kept turning around to him. He's like, brother, remember me again. How do you say your name? And he's like, Mangello. And he's like, Mangelio. Okay. And then like... The music would start, and he turned around one more time and said it. And he gets up on stage, he gets up in the ring, and he said, like, and my good friend Joe, and he didn't even say Mang- Mangelio, he said, like, Joe Mangello or Gillo or something like that. And he gets back after, um, and, he, and he's like, I'm really sorry. And, and no, well, the funny part was Joe Mangello, like, as, as he's walking towards the ring, he's thinking, he's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the microphone and be like, brother, you said my name wrong. I like call him out on it. He's like, yeah, but when I got in there, I, that did not happen. Yeah. <laughs> he pushed out. But I guess backstage, he, he apologized. And then um, they, and they went back on. And, and he's like, he, he like flips from like a normal person talking to you, blah, blah, blah. To, to like, Hogan. Yeah, to Hogan. And the camera goes on him and he's like, I want to say this first. Um, I made a mistake and it doesn't matter. And he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't actually say how to say his name properly still. Of course not, yeah. He just said like, oh, what do you say? He says, this is always going to be... Joe brother or something really st- even stupider like he's always gonna oh be a God. brother <laughs> it's like and then I said to Carrie after the podcast was over or actually after this bit was over I said I'm like huh I didn't even know that uh that Hulk Hogan was still doing wrestling and then when we pulled in to uh the stop and shop on the cave <laughs> I pull up my phone I go what was I earlier about Hulk Hogan he's not even wrestling anymore <laughs> I was like that was like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> He's definitely not anymore as of 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> At that time. Never again. <sighs> yeah, he apparently went on a racial tirade um, and just... Back in like 07. Is that one? I didn't actually see the date. It's a long time ago. It was uh, when he was... When he, he was duped into screwing his friend's wife while his friend videotaped it right. secretly. Yeah. Like... It was all a ploy to screw him over, which is so fucked up. Yeah. So weird. Like, and, so weird. you know, and he's made a couple of stupid comments. Yep. And uh, he's going to never live it down. Nope. And he's never going to wrestle again unless it's like an amateur circuit maybe. Yeah, but no one's going to no take that. That's ridiculous. No. And Which is ridiculous because... If they recorded any of us in our private lives, the shit that we have said, you know, even in jest, is the the worst. Oh yeah, crap ever. Well, we're not in public spotlight, so it doesn't really matter as much. But but it, I'm just saying yeah, that, yeah. like, you know, it, mm-hmm. it's not good. And but even like people like Dennis Rodman, see his tweet. Mm-hmm. So I've known Hogan for 25 years. There's not a racist bone in his body. You know, but Dennis Rodman is friends with Kim Jong Un, so yeah. I mean, let's just put this in context here. <laughs> yeah, no one's really gonna care about what you have to say. <laughs> I'm surprised people still read your Twitter. Yeah, I don't read his Twitter. I saw it in an article because I don't read Twitter ever. I don't read the tweets. I don't read the Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> um. I mean, have we have we hit all the big big news bits? I think so. I can't think of anything else we really um, we've missed. Um, well, real quick, is it still going to happen with Steve Amell wrestling at SummerSlam? I read an article the other day. It is. I read so he's supposed to go down and be on Raw mid August um, okay. in Washington State. Okay. Um, and that's the next one he's going to be on. And they said. And or what's his face is going to go up to Vancouver on the set of Arrow if for scheduling wise. Okay. Um, now we haven't talked at all about the TV show world. Have we? Have we mentioned? I think we mentioned that Punisher is going to be on Daredevil, right? Yes, that's been discussed. We haven't. Um, Punisher is going to be on Daredevil. Uh, who's playing him? Um, I don't remember his name. The dude from um, John Brunthal. Yes. Now, what about Elektra? That is played by some no-name person, but she looks the part. Um, her name is... Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, Jesus. 
the say who? Uh, played by a girl named Elodie Young. Um, I mean, she doesn't look Greek. Um, she doesn't. She's like part Cambodian and part something else. Mm. I mean, um, but I'm okay. Yeah, I don't, I'm okay. I don't care. I don't care. It's, it's just weird that in the first season, like, what about that Greek girl you're yeah. dating? That's clearly Electra, yeah. you know? Um, maybe she's a more exotic looking Greek. Yeah. Or maybe she's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like Fair to Hesse 4. <laughs> <laughs> We've touched on that too many times. Yeah, um, we touched it. But yeah, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is supposed to be, I guess, Jessica Jones is premiering, they said, in 2015. Yeah, it'll be like late this year, November, yeah. December. And they said um, each series is going to get their own season and then team ups. But they said other series, depending on, are going to get multiple seasons yeah uh, it, the, the team up will happen once everyone has had a season one season but this right but they could you know defenders could be five years from now who yeah. knows you know um i'm glad because honestly i don't give a fuck about defenders i don't give a shit about defenders at all i'm, I'm excited to see another to see if them all get together even though it's characters uh, i don't really know other than daredevil yeah I, i'm a little weird with it out though that the, jessica jones I guess they they did show footage, and it was literally her walking down a street, opening a door. That's all. It was like a teaser. So it's like you've barely released any pictures. That's all you've showed behind closed doors. What's the problem? I I've been want... filming for a while. Why was there no sizzle reel at Comic Con? Um, it's a little worrisome. Maybe they're filming a lot of stuff out of order, and they haven't they haven't got a lot of shit put together. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Or maybe that. Uh, she is super powered and stuff. Maybe there's a lot of special effects. It's just, is she? I thought she was just a vigilante. No, she has powers. Does she's she? Like strong and stuff. Okay, I, strong and stuff. That's yeah. That's what I got. <laughs> for a um, for a person you consider to be a nerd, I don't know shit about a lot of these characters. You know. <laughs> um. So I, I mean, I only know Jessica Jones. Because uh, in passing the name, you know. Yeah, I, that's how I knew her too. But well, actually, no, she was also in um, some of the one of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games that um, Jason and I used to play. Yeah, I <laughs> don't play video games really. Yeah, because you're stupid. That sometimes I think that's true, but most times I don't. I'm trying to see. Oh, you know, powers. You know, we actually haven't talked about the Arkham game. We we're supposed to ha- have a discussion about that. She can fly. Can she? Superhuman strength. Uh, yeah, she's like a private detective. Yep. Her strength will out of the left giant size Goliath with the nostrils. Okay. Plus, she's a former superhero, superheroine, which is different than super cocaine. Yeah. And uh, and she's now a um, a private detective. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Interesting. We, we were supposed to have a discussion about Ar- the Arkham City game. Kind of like the... the, the the broad strokes of, of the story and, and like oh, yes. your opinions. We, we, we never did, th- we never got around to that. Want to do that now? I wouldn't actually mind waiting for Jason on that since he's played it as well. Unless you, but you already read it though. Yeah. So we, we can talk about it. Yeah. I mean, because I'm, I'm not that concerned. I, I don't, like, um, Jason's been doing a lot of camping. I'm not sure when he's going to get around to doing a whole yeah, episode with us point. again, you know? So we, like, I, I don't want to get it to where it's completely irrelevant, right. you know? But yeah, I think Arkham Knight's story was, it was good. Um, it was pretty fucking obvious who the, um, well, I almost just said Red Hood. But yeah, whoever, <laughs> who the Arkham Knight was. Um, they said it was a new villain. I guess the Arkham Knight is a, new, is a new villain. But the character is essentially fucking Red Hood anyway. Yeah, he's Jason Todd. It's, it's like, the exact same character. Yeah, and it's, it's, it, I, I think everyone knew that deep down. Yeah. Um, the story was really good, and the one thing that really surprised me—I'm surprised that they kept a secret for the longest time—and it was super fucking fun was having the Joker basically inside your head the entire time. I thought it was going to be silly at first when I first started playing, and mm-hmm. I was going to get old, but I think it worked very well because the whole time you're basically dosed with fear toxin or you're some type of scarecrow toxin, and Joker's there, like just like toying with you, making comments, basically waiting. He wants to like get out and take over Batman's psyche and just start murdering. Yeah, because he has been injected with yeah, some that, Joker Yeah, that as well. So thing. I think it's part of the serum and the... Um, right. Yeah. So, now... Now, I, I haven't played the game. Uh, I've only read the synopsis of the story, so to take this for what it's worth. Um, 
I think the story's kind of silly. Okay. It might have worked better in the game, but like the whole the whole thing is it ignores a lot of Batman in the history. Like this isn't this isn't Red Hood that became Arkham Knight. Right. This is Jason Todd that became Arkham Knight. And there was no Red Hood. And After there was. Okay. And the version, like the version of his death is different or his resurrection. The Joker still killed him. But it was different. Yeah. And it's like, like his death is so iconic. I think it's silly to even make that, that change. Mm. You know? But they're trying to make their own universe. I can see it. Everything else, I don't know. I like the universe. But then, but then at the same time, there's that nod to Killing Joke. Yes, because Oracle is in the game and she's in a wheelchair. And when you go to the Watchtower, you do hit the secret button and you do see the Batgirl costume in there. Yeah. Um, and they do show the flashback to what happened when the Joker shot her in the spine. Yep. So, I don't know. I, that They made their own continuity, but... It, it's... I would have been happier as if I give a fuck. Right? But I'm pretty sure if, the, if he was already the Red Hood, it would have been a lot easier for Batman to figure out who it was. Then make him someone else. Yeah, okay. That's fine, too. <laughs> I mean... I get like, that, too. You know, just... I don't fucking... Put, put the Red Hood in the game and still have the side story showing what happened. Yeah. And, like, have little side missions with the Red Hood and stuff like that. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, I get it. And then that's kind of my position. I mean, like, e- even if fucking Arkham Knight was some wacky shit, I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, what if it was a f- someone that from... Th- Earlier, one of the earlier games, you know what I mean, like that. Yeah, f- forgot about I mean, something like that. I think would have made much more sense, as far as just. I feel like you kind of cheapen the Red Hood in its own way. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, because essentially, the Arkham Knight looked like a fucking looked like Terry McGinnis. Yeah, he did. He did. He <laughs> totally, totally did. You know. Um. Now, where does this game stand? In relation to the other two. As in? Like, quality. Story-wise or playability? Which is the best game? It's probably this. Because it's just so much bigger. So much bigger. Like, the bat- having the Batmobile is awesome, but there's also the downside of the tank battles are fucking annoying after a while. The Batmobile, I don't know why he would ever have the Batmobile turn into a tank, but it works in the story, right? But, yeah, it's just so expansive. Like, it's there's like four, three or four islands, and basically it's just... It's like being in fucking Gotham City. You're a legit Batman. Like, if you don't even follow the story, you just do little side missions running around after thugs or, like, going after Two-Face's gang, breaking up bank robberies and stuff like that. It's You feel like Batman. Like, you come in, like, to the skylight, you tag some enemies, and, like, you're running in and tossing batarangs. And... So is the storyline really linear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you don't have to stick to it? No. So you can do this, like, all side missions, too. There's, like, missions with Nightwing where you're trying to find um, Penguin smuggling weapons from Bloodhaven. Yep. So Nightwing comes in and, like, pinpoints where Penguin's vans are and stuff like that. And then you track the van, tell Nightwing where it is, and then Nightwing jumps down. And you actually play, you actually fight and play as both of them. Like, you can switch between both of them. Okay. Now, I played a little bit of Arkham Asylum. Mm-hmm. Maybe the I don't know small percentage of it, you know. Yep. I, I I fought Bane and shit, so yep. I don't know how far that is. That's I don't remember. Ten minutes in, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> um, but it was mega linear, like really, like yeah. you just like it was almost like you walked through a maze. Well, I feel like Rocksteady definitely did a really good job with um, progression, or like no, they matured because Arkham Asylum was very. You know, you're in Arkham Asylum, you're indoors, but they still let you kind of roam free on the grounds a little bit, so they're getting. Like, um, you can still grapple and all that cool stuff, but you're still confined to, like, a just a, you know, a hospital, right? Arkham City wasn't fully Gotham City. It was still, but it was, they let it, let it make it more expansive and, uh, a lot more room to fly around. There's still no Batmobile or anything like that. Um, it was still a lot bigger than, than Arkham Asylum. And then they kind of took, I think, what they learned from Arkham City and at least having, a little more of an expansive city and they kind of just were like, okay, now we're going to give you full on Gotham city. I think they, they did it the right way. I think if they probably went in and tried to do Gotham, full Gotham city in the first game it would have been too much. So with this, with this new game, is it Gotham city that you full on Gotham city? It's just full on Gotham. Yep. 
And the way they get around the, um, the, uh, like you're driving a battlefield around, like it's not Grand Theft Auto or anything like that, but like the battlefield hits a civilian. Usually, most of the, most of the civilians are were evacuated in the beginning of the game, so that you're not driving around killing civilians. But even if you hit like a thug with the battlefield, it just like shocks them a little bit. Oh, so but, yeah, like, but like, there's a video online. They're like, that doesn't really make sense because like you just rolled that motherfucker over too. Like he's on the ground unconscious and he's not dead. Like <laughs> so. It tries to be, but yeah. Well, I mean, you have to under. I mean, people have to kind of look at the fact that yeah. this is like a a free roaming Batman game, and Batman still isn't supposed to be killing, yeah. even no matter how many, how much you want like, to be even killing. If you target a guy with a tank, like it automatically switches to non lethal ammunition. Of course it does. Yeah. Of course it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's uh, that, that, that's so. Th- so you're saying that, that there's no free play really. You're not free to kill people. I'm just saying that I, you know, I think I want that option. <laughs> like, I want to break the code. <laughs> I want to break the Batman code. God, your baby's fucking loud. She would not stop screaming. I think it's the mics. Though. These mics are really good mics. Maybe we got to mess with the gain after this. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we got to figure that out. <laughs> like, I'm hearing her just as loud as I'm hearing I can't you too. How, how much is soundproofing? <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> I wonder how it's going to come out on the recording. Well, if anyone can hear, this is my baby crying, so who knows what's wrong. She's not crying, she's just yelling. Yeah, she's like, what are you doing downstairs? <laughs> she's probably in your fucking living room, which is really far from here. <laughs> uh, no, are we right over it? No. No, but the, the sound's not That's coming. the living room. But it's not coming yeah. from here, it's coming. Yeah, a good point. <laughs> right. What's that right there? That's Yeah, your, your living room's right back here, Sean. No, it's right there. Because that's the crawl space next to in the back, and that's where the living room's over. It's right underneath this. Isn't that the front of the house? No, that's the back of the house. No, no, that's... that's the side of the house. Front of the house is that way. Oh. All right, fuck it. Maybe sure. next time we can try recording that really small room. <laughs> yeah, we do something like that. We'll figure it out. But um, um oh. yeah, no, I'm happy with Arkham Knight as it is. Like it's it's just fun to like sometimes now that I finished the main story, I'm still trying to decide missions to do the hundred percent Arkham Knight. I don't think I'm gonna do hundred percent. I don't want to do the Riddler shit. Okay. No way in hell. Maybe later, but just like driving with the Batmobile and then like, like you can do like an eject with a certain button, like and you just shoot up out of the Batmobile and then just glide, or you can grapple onto something. It's just it's just badass. You're like you're Batman. It's like you're really Batman. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. See, like when I think of like fun Batman games, I know what you're gonna say. I'm thinking like Batman Returns from my Sega Genesis. Super Nintendo version was better. It was, a, it was a different game altogether. It was, it was like Streets of Rage or some shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and um, I kind of liked that that one, the the one for Genesis. That was a pretty dark game. It was. I don't remember one for Genesis as much. I remember do like the Super Nintendo one better when I played them, but I was also very young. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I ever played the Super Nintendo one. I've seen like it was legit like Streets of Rage. Yeah, I, I saw pictures of it. So that's why I know what yeah. it kind of looked like. They should really have just added Robin into the game and just so you could do two pe- two players. Yeah. <laughs> and who gives a fuck, Yeah, man? exactly. I wouldn't have known any better as a kid. Yeah. that Those kind of games, I think you need two players. Yeah. Like a, a, like a single platform game, sort of. Because that's what it kind of was. Like Maximum yeah. Carnage and stuff. Those are friggin' badass. Yeah, Maximum Carnage was a badass game. That's yeah. a fact. Maximum Carnage, what was the other one? Spider-Man. Uh, oh, Separation Venom. Anxiety. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, didn't, I never played that one, though. I did. Maximum Carnage, I think, was better. If memory serves. Uh, it was a fucking really tough game. Yeah. yeah. Carnage was really hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a fun game. I really I really had a good time. I, I think I really... I might have needed Game Genie to help me beat it. I do have two USB Super Nintendo controllers in that on a, on an emulator. You can well, play that someday. I'm saying that it might have to happen soon. I just think it should happen. Maybe not this weekend. Maybe next weekend. Yeah. Because I got to... Uh, we're doing something down in a new... Newport. Newport or Newburyport? Newport. Okay. Rhode Island. We're going down on a Saturday morning. Oh, nice. <sighs> it must be nice to have Chan not working as much. She's worked yesterday, today, tomorrow. I mean, she's still working, but... Yeah, but how often does she have Saturdays off? It's rare. Fucking never. So. We need to go to night shift at some point. The new barrel site is out. Yeah. Maybe next week. We keep, we've been saying to go, we're going to go night shift. I haven't gone there with you in six months. Yeah, but there hasn't been a new release. Now we have an yeah. excuse. Okay. We have to go now. It's it's tough because I, I, I have a pretty strict schedule. I mean, yeah, no. Wednesday is like my data. 
to fucking go. Can we do it on Wednesday? Yeah, we can do it on Wednesday. We'll have to bring Kaylee, but that's fine. Well, I brought her to night shift before. Yeah, you have a trunk. That'd be deal. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, trunk. Duct tape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, want to call it a, call it a day? Yeah, I think this was a good. Uh, hopefully, this recording sees the light of day. Hopefully, we don't find any. I'm really curious to see how this baby's gonna sound. It's gonna be loud. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, that was good. Um. I'm I'm enjoying the uh, setup. I mean, it, yeah. it's really strict. I'm used to like lounging back and yeah. being lazy. So, but I, yeah, but I think once I get, I'm gonna get. We're gonna get some extensions for the headphones because I really need to. Like, yeah, but I I think I, we need to be up on these yeah, mics. That's a good point too. You know. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm okay with it though. Yeah. Like it, I feel like we sound a hell of a lot better. And but uh, it also picks up a hell of a lot more. It it does, but we just. Next time we, we duct tape them, throw them in a closet. Yeah, good point. Okay. Fair done. Enough. Easy. Yeah, done. All so, right. Anyway, yeah. Well, uh, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And this is Nerd Sense.